Hello everybody. Sometimes when you're programming in JavaScript, you need to have somebody telling you, hey, you shouldn't do this. Hey, you should do that. You should do this. You should do that. And the problem is that JavaScript doesn't have that. So by default, you can write as much disgusting code as you want and JavaScript will try to execute it. There is no like style guide officially that the language enforces. Now for this, people have created something called ESLint. ESLint is a linter, like a lint is like, I don't know how you say that. I don't know. A linter is like somebody that tells you, hey, 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 do this, do this, do this, kind of that, that kind of that thing. It's a ESLinter for JavaScript. So what it does is that it looks at your code and it will tell you, hey, improve here, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do this, okay? So it's very easy to install it. All you have to do is on your console, you have to do yarn or npm, npm globally or yarn global at install your uh, install jar and global lar at eslint now once this is installed you are going to run a command that will generate a file for you and it will download some stuff for you so the fa the command will be eslint dash dash init and then here he will say that you should answer a question that it will he will do you a questionnaire of how does your code look like to configure ESLint. So you can A, use a popular style guide, which we will do, or you can answer questions about your style, or you can inspect your JavaScript files. I always use the first one, use a popular style guide. And here there are three of them. The standard one, Google, standard, standard, it's funny, and Airbnb one. I use the Airbnb one because I like the way that they do JavaScript. And yeah, that's the one I use. So you press enter. And then he's going to ask you, do you use React? In this case, this is a JavaScript application, React Native. So yes, I use React. He says, what format do you want your file configuration to be on? I want to go in JavaScript. All right. Now he's going to say, hey, I required some plugins. You say, install them. No problem. And we wait. Once he finds those plugins, we're going to have a file that is directly... Um, it's going to be looked by the, there you go, look at that, look at all the errors. This file is looked by the VS code. I think it also works on Atom. And what this file will do is that it's just going to configure it. So look at this. It's here, eslint.js. And now as you can see, there is a problem, depending on the ass, all these errors. And now if I have app, it shows that it, there's more than nine errors on this file. That I can improve. Now, some people, like me, we use something called prettier that I think you should use also, which is a code formatter to make your code look pretty. In this case, we need to install a plugin for prettier. The plugin is here. And it is a ESLint plugin prettier, of course. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to install this thing. We're going to copy it and we're going to import it install it, npm install, bah. Once this is ready, we are going to add it into the configuration file. All right, and now we come here and we add it on a plugin. So in this case, we just copy this installation instruction. And because we're using the Airbnb plugin, then we're gonna use also comma, the prettier, the prettier, plugin. All right. And as you can see now, the errors on my file change from nine plus to three, which is cool. All right, let's go. So I still have some errors. Let's look at the errors. First error, it says, if I put it here, this component should be written as a pure function. And this is because ESLint is seeing that my component does not need to be a class because he doesn't have state. If I put state, maybe, maybe, yeah, if I put state, it will work. If I don't put state, it's saying like, yo, you need to change this boy, like what the fuck? This is cool because he knows, okay, he, this guy is not using, um, he's not using whatever uh, st uh, state or whatever. So this means that it should be a functional component. Good stuff. All right, so now let's add some bullshit state here. 
uh, constructor props super props and now let's say this state something true and now the analysis has changed completely now all it's saying is that oh look at that jsx is not allowed in files with the extension js this is a rule the rule is if you are working with jsx with react your file name should be named that jsx in our case we cannot change that because expo is built to see javascript files but here they tell us the rule name so what we can do is that we can copy the rule name we can copy this rule for example and if we don't like one rule we can just come here and we say rules and we say this one for example false all right and that means that we rule with this rule we don't care about all right so this rule is okay expected a blank line between class members what is it here there you go so now one one line only finishes that you see it's for code styling which is cool now this is saying that i have a, sta a state called something and unused is not being used i'm not using it and that is true i created the state but i'm not using it on my component so as you can see it's letting me know another thing that he's letting me know is this one for example styles he says styles was used before it was defined so all i have to do to fix this one for example is come here and put it at the top and now it will stop complaining about the styles all right let's see no problem and now let's just do this and that will be a pure component there you go and now param my code is passing the eslint rules i hope that you use this thing i really use it when i'm not working with typescript i use it to improve the quality of my code sometimes it can become a little bit strict so that's why you have the ability to change the rules over here. You can change whatever rules you have. I think there is a rule that it doesn't allow you to have console log stuff like this. It's saying that unexpected console log statement. So for example, if you want to use console log, then all you have to do is you copy that rule, you put it here and you say false. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one let me know if you use this let me know if you have used it and let me know if you want to use it i personally use it in every project i can because it then makes me a better programmer makes me follow a guide and it doesn't let me do stupid shit all right thank you for watching and have a good one go eat the kimchi enjoy and bye bye